Hey, how you doing? So we've been learning about the numbers one to 120 in class. And I'm gonna give you some ideas for how to support your child at home. Helping your child learn the number system one through 120, really important in first grade. And there's three things that you can do with your child. Here they are. First, hide zero cards. Hide zero cards are these things. So for example, if I have the number 20, and then I wanna add four to 20, I cover the zero, and look at that. I have 24, and we've been talking with the kids about how inside of 24, there's a 20 and a four. So you can talk about that with your kids too. So for example, you can say to your child, uh, if I have the number 35, uh, what's in 35? And your child should be able to say 30 and five. Another thing you can say to your child is, what is 40 plus eight? And your child should automatically be able to say 48. So these are hide zero cards. They're really easy to make because all you have to do is get some sticky notes. And with your sticky notes at home, you get a marker. And for example, you write the numbers 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And then you also write the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So for example, if I have 9 plus 20, I got, what do I got? 29. So you can use sticky notes to do this. The second way to help your child learn the number system is counting forwards and backwards. And this is not just counting up from one, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, 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 no. This is counting forwards and backwards from any number between one and 120. So for example, if you're walking down the street to the grocery store, you and your child could be like, oh, let's count our steps, but this time, Let's start at 44 and count all the way up to 79. Here we go. 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. And you count forwards to the number you're ending with. Say it was 79. You can also count backwards. Counting backwards is so much more challenging for first graders than counting forwards. For example, you can be like, all right, let's count backwards from 85 to 52. Here we go. 85, 84, 83, 82, 81. And if that's really hard for your child, you can use one of these. Let me get it. This is a hundreds board. Actually, it's a one to 120s board. I will send one of these to all families. You can print it out. You can get one from class. And this way, when your child is counting backwards, he or she can touch the numbers. So for example, if counting backwards from 56 to 32, they can go 56, 55, 54, 53, 52. Counting backwards is really helpful. The other thing about counting forwards that you should know is the hardest part is crossing the decades. So for example, when your child gets to 39, they might say 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 50, 51, 52. That's crossing the decades, going from 39 to 40 or 59 to 60. So you can practice that with your child by saying, uh, what comes after 59? And your child should be able to say 60. And you can say, what comes after 39? and your child could say 40. So that's counting forwards and backwards and crossing the decades is really helpful. The last way you can help your child learn the number system from one to 120 is by thinking about and talking about what comes before a number, what comes after a number. So for example, you can say to your child, uh, what comes before 70? And your child should be able to say uh, 69. 
and you can say, uh, what comes after 113? And your child should be able to say, uh, 114. And you can say, what comes before 50? And your child should be able to say 49. So thinking about what comes before number and after number is really helpful. The last way to learn the number system, of course, is by writing numbers. So what you can do is you can tell your child a number. Say 53, and your child has to write 53. And to really make it fun, spray some shaving cream on the table and have them write numbers in the shaving cream. Or take a cookie sheet and pour some rice in the cookie sheet and have your child use a finger to trace those numbers in the cookie sheet. But writing the numbers is the fourth way, I didn't put it here, but it's the fourth way to really help your child learn the number system one to 120. So I hope that helps because helping your child learn the number system is what we're doing in class. And you and me, we can team on this. All right.